Welcome back. Let's get right to it and code our first Java program using NetBeans. So you've got the software installed. Time to test it out. Let's double click and open up NetBeans. And once it's open, you're going to see here that one thing you can do is we can go up to File and we can say New Project. Now, when you decide to make a new project, there's a lot of options here. Pretty well for this entire course, we almost always take the same one. Java, Java Application. Click Next. Now here, they want a project name. For this little project name, this is a very standard one that all beginner programmers usually go through, which is called the Hello World Project. You have to select a nice location for it. And so I'll just quickly go to my desktop here and keep this organized. Whoa, there we go. And you're going to notice here, don't check this. And down here it says create a main class. And it's already named it for us. Hello World Project. And it's going to make a file called Hello World. Let's leave that ticked. Hit finish. That way it'll write a little bit of the code for us. Now, once this crunches this out and makes the project, you're going to see here that some stuff pops up on your screen. First of all, you have this window over here. This shows you, like it says here, the files in your project. Let's expand that open and show you the important ones. Let's actually keep that one shut. The important one that we're going to be working with most of the time is here, the source folder for your source code. You'll see here it's made a little subfolder, Hello World, which is the name of your project, and it's put a file in there called Hello World. This is actually when you check that box and it said, do you want to make the main class called Hello World? And we said checkbox yes, and that's why it's made this file in here for us. You'll also notice there's a little green arrow beside this file. That means that when it comes time, I can do something like hit this big green button to run it, or I could do a right click and select to run it. Now let's look at the file itself that it made. I'm going to tell you a lot in this course. Don't worry about this for now. And I'm going to do a lot of that in the first few videos because to explain everything in detail, it's going to sort of distract you from just getting straight to the coding. And we want to get you coding, right? You can see stuff here is in gray. This stuff here is comments. And so you can start a comment by going slash star. And then as you type, this stuff is just ignored. It's not really part of your program. It's just notes you can put in the file. Now I'm going to clear that out for now, just so it's not in our way. So I'm going to take those comments out. And so it looks like that. You'll notice the first line here says package hello world. When you actually make a project, you also usually make some sort of called packages. They're almost like little subfolders for your project. Don't worry about this for now. Just leave it there. You'll see it says public class hello world. You'll also notice that the file name is called hello world.java. Notice how this matches this spelling exactly the same. That's one rule you have to do. NetBeans did it for us, but just so you know, if you ever go and change this, it's going to break stuff down. Okay, file name has to match the class name. Now in Java, what we often do is we often code in classes. And as a beginner, you'll actually code almost everything in a class for the first couple lessons. So you'll see this class is called Hello World. There's a curly brace to start the class. And as we go down, the curly brace is eventually ended down there. Now I'm just going to put a little comment that that curly brace ends the class. Now remember, that's just a comment. Okay, It doesn't actually become part of the program when you run it. Now, what's a class? It's a little tricky for beginners. How about for now, you just sort of accept, yes, we code inside a class. Now, in addition to the class, you put chunks of code inside the class. These chunks of code are called methods. You'll see this method here that's already written for us is called main. If you want a class to be able to run as a program, so basically, if we want to be able to hit the green button here or go right click run file then that class has to have a public static void main method now don't worry about the public static void part 
or this weird stuff here. For the most part, you're just going to be copy pasting that for now. Okay, or let NetBeans write it. We're going to be worried about what we put in here for today. Okay, but just know, void main, this method, that's where the program starts. And so let's actually write some code in here and run the file and see what happens. Now I'm going to give you the line for a very basic print to the console window. System out print line, hello world. This is like a standard line. Uh, a lot of coders code it no matter what language they're learning how to print out one line. Now don't worry about you know what everything's made for here. But if you've typed this out properly and there's no red lines and no errors, we're going to be able to run this file. Let's give it a go. I'm going to go right click on my file here and run the file. And when I run it, nothing too exciting is going to happen, but at least you know everything you've installed works. A little output window opens, and there it goes. It printed out Hello World. If you wanted to do a little more code in there, you could do a little more code in there. My name is John. There we go. It's very exciting printing out these simple little lines. And you can see, print out, print out. Now, for those of you that didn't get that to work, maybe you did this. Maybe you typed something incorrectly. You'll notice one of the benefits of using NetBeans is it's constantly checking as you type to see if you spell certain commands incorrectly. So it's checking the syntax. Now you'll see here this is obviously not the correct spelling for this sort of command here. And so you can hover your mouse over and it goes package system does not exist. Okay, it's its way of saying, you know, I don't know what this is. So you sort of have to examine that line and you got to figure out what's wrong with it. Just like if I didn't put a semicolon there, which you'll learn later, you use a lot of semicolons at the end of lines, there's an error and it goes red. And if I hover the mouse over, this one's nice and obvious, semicolon expected. Now, the compiler's good. Okay, NetBeans is good. It will detect errors uh, based on your spelling and other rules you break. But, you know, it doesn't check everything. For instance, if you wanted your program to say bye-bye world, well, this isn't going to work. That's going to print hello world. It doesn't check that kind of logic for you, right? So the compiler is like the first step to make sure you haven't broken any basic rules. Now, now that you have that working, that's really the end of this video. Next video, I'm going to just tell you sort of what's happened when you hit the run button to run this program and make this happen. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.